Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the Apple Watch Ultra 2. On the front of the box, there's no indication that it's the second version, but on the back of the box, it actually shows it right here. Apple Watch Ultra 2, 49 millimeter titanium blue Alpine loop. And this year, Apple's made a big push to be carbon neutral, and some of the bands are carbon neutral using more recycled materials. They actually show this on their website. Now it still comes in at $799 with one finish. So let's go ahead and open this up here. Just open it like this. It's the same packaging we had before. So again, if we just flip this out like this, there we go. We've got a little booklet with a picture of a mountain here. Let me move this aside and we'll compare it with the Apple Watch Ultra one as well and just see what it's like. So we've got this little booklet, which is always nice. And it shows some of the new bands that we have and they're available in more colors than we had last year. So last year, we didn't really have a whole lot of choice. We basically had our different loops here in green. We had the ocean band in a couple different colors, but it just depends on which one you got. There weren't a ton of colors available at launch. Now there's much more, of course. If we go through, it just goes over some of the information here, which is really nice. I'd love to see more of this on their premium products and goes over what you can do with it. So all of the same things with some of the new products. And of course, in here, we've got our warranty card. Let's set that aside and here's the watch itself and then the band. So I haven't seen the band in person. Let's see what we've got here. We'll pull this back and unbox it. And then we'll take apart the other side or take the other strap off the other side and let's open it up. Now this shouldn't be easy to tell between the Apple watch ultra one and two, but let's go ahead and remove this for now. And then in here, looks like we've got a charge cable. We've got a nice braided cable here on this. So we don't have the stainless steel that we had before, but it's a nice braided cable at least. Always nice to see that. We're seeing that with every Apple product this year. Now, as far as the watch itself, we'll go over that in more detail in a moment. Let's go ahead and remove the packaging here, slide this out and take a look at it. Now it's still pretty heavy and looks very similar to what we have with the current one, but there are some upgrades to it as well. Let's open the band as well. And these bands typically are about a hundred dollars. And as you can see, it says carbon neutral and you can learn more about it, but it's all over Apple's website. So that's something they've been pushing quite a bit this year. And let's go ahead and open this one up just like that. Slide out the card and there's the new loop. And I actually really like the way this one looks. I'm not a huge fan of this sort of green that we had last year. So I'll probably use this band regularly. So this looks really nice with the contrasting colors, titanium ends. It's very lightweight. Let's set that aside. We'll move all the packaging out of the way and take a closer look at what's new. So we'll go ahead and click this into place here. The other side, just like that. That's how Apple has it on their website with the loop going through the top of the watch. So these are really nice, very secure, and let's go ahead and compare it with the first version, as I don't think you're going to see any difference whatsoever when it comes to the overall design, because there is no difference. It's the exact same case. There were some rumors that they would have a black color. I wish they would have some other colors, but right now it, they look identical. There is no way to differentiate both of them. They look the same and Apple watch ultra one and two are identical in every way other than what's inside of them. So let's go ahead and turn it on here. We'll boot it up for the first time and then we'll get it paired with our iPhone. So it's booting up. We'll move the other watch out of the way. And for those of you wondering, what do I do with my other watches? Well, I use them for comparison videos like this. Sometimes I give them to family members to use, see how they work over time, durability, test them and more. So they actually will still be in use typically. Now we'll wait for this to boot up and we can move everything over, but this looks really nice. I mean, it doesn't really look any different. So still a good looking watch. Again, I wish it was a different color as well. It pops up on the iPhone as you would expect. And there's nice attention to detail here where even the band matches. So we'll tap continue and get this set up. It goes into set up Apple watch. I'll set it up for myself and then we'll hold it over the front of it just like we do with an iPhone. So we'll get this set up just like this. We'll tap continue, make this your new Apple watch. We can customize settings of course. And it says connecting to your Apple watch. This may take a moment as this is connecting. One thing I noticed is this band actually matches the blue titanium of the iPhone 15 pro max pretty well. They're a very similar color, although we have that gray accent, which I think looks great. So overall, I think it's a nice combination. If you want to get both, 
You'll have that option, of course, if you want to pick something else, maybe to match a different iPhone, you can. We'll tap agree to the terms and conditions. We'll give it just a second here to continue. And it says signing into your account. This may take a few minutes. Now we can share watch analytics with Apple or don't share, and then we can set it up with a passcode. So I'll just create one quickly here. And then we have workout route tracing. So we'll enable a route tracing. We have safety for emergency SOS, fall detection and crash detection. So we'll tap continue and then cellular setup. So we can set up cellular now where it connects to my carrier. We'll skip this for now. I'll do it a little bit later, but you have that option. Sometimes that doesn't work perfectly. It depends on your carrier. I actually want to move it from my old watch to this watch. So we'll give it a moment here. We'll tap not now and continue. You can set up Apple pay now, and then it's talking about the action button. I actually have it set up for workout. So we'll tap continue. We can have it open the depth app when submerged Then there's diving safety as well. We'll tap continue and then it's syncing. Now, as far as what's new this year, we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth and show you in a moment. But once this is set up, we'll take a closer look, but this has a new S nine SIP or system in package. It's got a second gen ultra wideband chip that allows you to locate a phone using precision now as well. So we'll try that out. And then also it should have double the storage of last year, 64 gigs of storage compared to 32 gigs of the Apple watch ultra one. So if you store a lot of music on here while you're using this for working out, or maybe you're hiking you'll have the option to double that this time. Now, one thing Apple actually showed, and let me put this on my wrist as we're waiting for this to set up, put this on my wrist like this. One thing Apple actually showed is that, and it's already set up. That was actually pretty fast. One thing Apple showed is that there's going to be a double tap feature later on. This is coming later on in a future update, maybe in October or later this year. They did say October, but they could always delay it. But double tap to select things that's not available at launch. And that's one of its major features. However, that was sort of there with accessibility. So it says learn to navigate. Of course, I've used one of these so we can get right in. And we're in and then of course, we'll need all of our apps and more. And this is incredibly fast. This is definitely faster already than the first one. So let me remove this from my wrist again. Now it says, welcome to Apple watch. So everything's got to set up, but one of the things this has, like I said, is double the storage. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we'll go down to settings under settings. See if we can go to general and then we'll go down to storage here. There we go. Storage. We'll give it a second to load and you'll see it says 64 gigabytes. If we check the same place on the other Apple watch, you'll see on the Apple watch ultra one, we have 32 gigabytes of storage on the Apple watch ultra two. We have 64 gigabytes. One other big change we have this year is the display. The display is now much brighter at 3000 nits instead of 2000 nits. I've always been impressed with the ultra one display outside. This should be even better. We also have slightly better battery life, 70 hours of low power mode instead of 60. The regular battery life is still 36 hours though. Now, anything else on this is really the same. So there's not much of a change here at all. Basically we're waiting for the double tap gesture and everything else is identical in every way. I wish they would have differentiated them with a different color, but maybe they had problems with it last minute. Now, for those of you that wonder what watch face I'm using, I'm using the modular watch face. And if we press and hold, that's the modular watch face with the app Lumi in the middle. It hasn't fully loaded on the new Apple watch. So if you wanted to recreate that, you can with Apple watch ultra two, there are no new watch faces either. All of the new watch faces were introduced with watch OS 10. So they're available on the Apple watch ultra one with modular ultra. We have Nike globe palette, Snoopy, as well as solar analog. All of those are available for watch OS 10 on the other watches. So maybe they'll add a new one soon. It's hard to say, but it looks like they really haven't changed anything up here or given us specific watch faces. So at least they're available for the older watches as well, but I would love to see some more or maybe we should be able to customize and add our own. Apple watch ultra two did not have a software update when I first booted this up and connected everything. So it came with version 10 and that's build 21 R three, five, five for those that are actually curious about that. So it doesn't appear that there's any watch updates other than watch OS 10.0.1 that released the other day. So I will need to update this to that version, but there doesn't appear to be anything different other than that. Also with that ultra wideband chip, we can use it to locate items using 
directions on the device itself. Now I actually don't have anything under find devices for some reason, so I may need to restore this, but you can find people from further distances and get directions to them or find items as well. So if I go to my backpack, you can play a sound, get directions and more. You can use it to locate what you're looking for with more precision. Another thing is this should be much faster with the new system and package. So if we go into music, you'll see it loads almost instantly. If we go into compass again, go into weather, it's pretty instant. It's iPhone fast for the most part. So that's definitely something that's much faster. And let me just show you side by side with the same apps. So if we go maybe into, let's go into calculator, takes a second to load. So it's not that long, but it's definitely faster. So let's go down to one we haven't opened yet. Maybe we'll go to, let's go to our home app, open that you'll see it's loading immediately. It's not super fast as far as the new one compared to the old one. It's definitely faster, but it's not a gigantic leap up. Maybe it will be after we've used it for a little while though, but it's very, very smooth. If we go into the noise app, let's try that. Go into noise, give it a second. That was about the same time. So depending on what you're doing, I think the overall task will vary, but it feels very, very fast. Now there's not much more to talk about with this update. Apple watch ultra two is basically a small refresh, faster chipset, brighter display, more storage with a couple extra things with better battery life. That's everything for Apple watch ultra two. And if there's anything you want to see, maybe in a future review of this, let me know in the comments below. Of course, if you'd like to get your hands on the wallpaper I have on my iPhone, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.